Sunsama is a productivity application that is very unique. What it does quite well is it focuses on something called work-life balance, which a lot of us don't have a good balance on. Today we'll be reviewing Sunsama, helping you to make a decision on well, what it is, the features of it, and who it's best for. Welcome, my name is Francesco D'Alessio. Please do subscribe to this channel, and if you fancy checking out any of the links to go deeper with this tool, description below. So, let's start on what Sunsama is. It's very much a daily planner, like a to-do list application, that allows you to view your tasks in a week view, a calendar view, and allow you to plan all of those tasks. It also consolidates other applications as well, so it's pretty nice because it brings in project management apps like Notion, ClickUp, and many more and that's really nice to have but it also focuses on work-life balance let's talk about that in features so Sunsama has a range of features and one of the most exciting ones is that you can handhold with Sunsama across your day essentially that basically means something we've made up here but it basically means you basically get somebody to assist you or well this the program assists you in planning a day which is really helpful because you can set how many hours you'd like to work, book it around meetings, but most importantly, review your day on how it went and how much time you actually spent on stuff. And it gives you warnings on whether you're spending too much time on certain areas, and it tells you to take effective breaks as well. It's got great timers, and I really love that work-life balance aspect of Sunsama. The other feature that's really nice is weekly objectives. You can set some weekly objectives and correlate them to the tasks you're doing in the week, which is really good for defining holistically what you want to focus on in that week. And finally, it's got a great task and calendar view for planning and basically doing time blocking and systems like that so that you can plan your week ahead, but also next week and, and so on and so on. Also, it's got consolidation so you can bring in those other uh, a task from other apps or those other emails, etc. They can be quite helpful for bringing everything under one roof. Now, who is Sansama best for? Disclaimer, Sansama is quite expensive when it comes to the other productivity applications. So this is really great for those who are time poor, maybe those who want to consolidate their applications in one, but also that want to be able to manage their day in a much more effective fashion. One of the features of Sansama that's great in particular for this is to shut off from the day. So when you finish your day, it really does zone you out of Sunsama, which does help to keep that focus. So it's really designed for those who want to be more mindful about their work days and work more effectively versus on lots and lots of tasks. So you can check out Sunsama and a little bit more about it below. If you're interested in finding more productivity tools, you can jump over to Tool Finder, which you can find linked below. You can find the perfect one for you and many more. I promise. Lots of alternatives. Thank you very much, folks, and I see you in a future video. Do subscribe, and I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio.